How do you change what you believe is possible so that you can change your life? This is a question I get asked all the time when it comes to our nervous system and limiting beliefs. And the really interesting thing about a limiting belief is that it's just something that we have repetitively told ourselves or repetitively been told by somebody else. Whether that is what we're capable of, what we are not capable of, or whether it is someone putting on us a fear that they have, either for us or themselves, it's really easy over a period of time for a limiting belief to become ingrained into who we are and actually become a belief that is part of our integral system. Now, in order to change a belief that is part of your integral system, we have to replace that belief with a new belief. We can't just expunge a belief and expect it to just disappear and not exist. We have to replace it with a better thought or a better belief. So when we go on this journey of changing our beliefs and creating better beliefs and better outcomes, we have to start with the really simple thing of what is the belief that we want to change. Now, this is something that can be either relatively easy because you know exactly what it is, it comes up all the time for you, it's like clear as day, or it could be a little bit more kind of hidden under the, the surface of like what is actually holding you back. So if it's clear as day and you know exactly what it is, write it down. Absolutely, right now, write down the thought. If it's not, then over the next couple of days, I want you to spend some time sitting down with your journal and with your goals. So what are your goals for the year? And when you say your goals to yourself out loud in your mind, however you want to do this, I want you to listen to the voice inside your head and think about what comes up. So if you say, I want to earn X amount of money, what is the story that you're telling yourself about why you can't achieve that? If you say that you want to exercise every single day, what is the story you're telling yourself about why you're not the person who can take that action? Because those stories are going to start to give you the beliefs that you have. So I remember when I first started running, I was continuously telling myself that I was not the type of person who ran. I wasn't very fast, I wasn't very good, my breathing wasn't very good, I would go literally bright red, like you couldn't, I couldn't even describe the redness that would happen. Um, and I made up this whole story that it was like impossible for somebody like me to be good at this, I would never be able to go far, I would never be able to go fast, I would never be able to do any of these things. And that story had to change before I got to the point of saying I'm going to run a half marathon. Because the story I was telling myself five years ago about my running journey compared to the story that I'm telling myself now about my running journey are very different stories. And the only way that you start to pick up the story is by really paying attention and listening to what you're telling other people and also what other people are telling you. So one of my favorite um, kind of realizations in this area was when I started my own business and um, I had just been made redundant, started my own business and instantly landed a 10,000 pound contract for a couple of weeks work. Um, and it was absolutely incredible. I was blown away, I was so excited. And before I had a chance to even like start telling people that I'd landed this contract, I had people who were close to me reaching out to me and being like, so are you going to look for another job? Like, I know that you said that you were going to start a business, but like, that's really risky. Like, you're not going to make as much money as you did when you were employed. And all of these stories were fears that other people had. And all of these people were in employment, none of them ran their own businesses, so it's, it's completely understandable that they had these fears. But I think back to if I hadn't already signed that contract, if I hadn't already 
had such a win and such a success, what might have been different about my journey? Might I have believed everyone else's fears? Might I have pulled that into my reality and let that be true for me? Because I was so scared of the fact that it might not work or everyone might be right. So you can see how other people's experiences and other people's fears can actually really impact us if we're not careful, if we don't keep up a barrier and say, actually, hold on, this is not for me. That is your fear. You hang on to it. I don't want it. So when we're thinking about limiting beliefs and we're thinking about how do we change them once we found them once we know we've got them written down like how do we change them because that's what you're here for that's the key like the key thing that you want to find out so there's a couple of different methods but the really key like the very first thing that i want to say is that it has to move in stages okay it has to move in stages you can't go from continuously telling yourself that you absolutely cannot achieve this, you're absolutely useless, to, oh my gosh, I absolutely love myself and this is exactly what's gonna happen and you know everything's gonna be easy. Because your nervous system will trigger. Your nervous system will be like, whoa, 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 that's not true. And you want to move your beliefs in a way that doesn't trigger your nervous system because that just makes it so much harder to go through this process so when you are moving through this process, you want to move your beliefs little by little. So say for instance, your goal is that, uh, let's use, let's use a, a business money goal. So say for instance, your goal is that you want to earn 5,000 pounds a month. That's the goal. And currently you're only earning 500 pounds a month. Okay. So you're not going to sit down and just be like, it's so easy to earn £5,000, you know, money comes to me so easily, £5,000 lands in my account every single month, because realistically, that is not what you've seen up until this point, and it's a very big shift from where you are now. So what you might say is that my income is continuously growing. Every single month, I end up with more money in my bank account. And you don't even necessarily have to put a definite figure on that. You can just lean into the fact that more is always possible. More is always coming. And it starts to shift what you believe is possible. Shift what you believe is available to you. And that's what you want with your beliefs. You want to move yourself from where you are and continue to shift. And the next thing you know, you'll have hit the 5,000 and then saying to yourself, you know, 5,000 is the minimum I have every month. You know, it's exactly what is available to me uh, when I need it. Like, you know, you can open up this whole idea of this new level and still ask for more once you reach the new level. So this idea of like incremental and asking for more rather than going from a small amount to a big amount and just being fixed on an amount is a really good way to keep your nervous system calm as you go through this cycle. Okay, if it's something like um, a physical goal, so like a weight loss goal or a loving your body more goal or like for me a running goal, it's a slightly different um, different sort of way of approaching it so i was constantly telling myself i'll never be able to do this i'll never be able to run far i'll never be able to run fast i'll you know my breathing will never be able to support me so actually what i needed to do was start to change each one of those individual beliefs little by little so instead of saying i'll never be able to do this i started to shift the idea of I'll show up and put one foot in front of the other and that's all I need to do. There isn't an end goal. There isn't a, you know, I have to go so fast or I have to go so far. It's just a case of I'm just going to go and I'm going to do and I'm going to enjoy. And that shift in belief rather than having this like fixed goal, but actually just that shift in I'm just going to enjoy this 
shifted so much in me to make me stop being concerned about the outcome and start being more concerned about the actual process of getting to the goal. And I went from running once a week to running twice a week to running four times a week to now running four times and going to the gym twice to exercise. So it's literally six out of seven days that I'm being active. And if somebody had told me five years ago that this is where I would be, I would have told them that it was impossible. I would have told them that I could never fit it in, that I would never be able to do it, that I would never have enough energy, never have enough stamina. And now here I am doing the thing because I just slowly built it up over a period of time, okay? So when you're thinking about your beliefs, it's not about like, how do we go from zero to a hundred and just like shift our belief like instantly. It's about how do we slowly and incrementally change this belief? Because realistically, your belief has been with you probably for decades. So why do we think that we can just click a finger and just change it overnight? We have to give it time. Now, to get a bit more kind of practical, I want to give you a couple of different ways that you can actually actively start to change your beliefs. So we're going to go through four different ways and I'm just going to touch on each of them around how you can use this method in shifting your beliefs so that you get to better outcomes. That's what we're here for, better outcomes. So the first one is through affirmation. Now, I've already been speaking about affirmations loads. What you say to yourself repetitively, that is an affirmation. So if you're constantly telling yourself that you are not able to, it's not possible, you'll never be able to, you then need to shift those affirmations to something more positive. I am learning, I am moving towards, I am able to, whatever your outcome or goal is. So you can see how an affirmation can start to shift the dynamic. Now, I would say the easiest thing to do is to pick one to three affirmations that are completely focused on the goal that you're trying to achieve, the beliefs that you're trying to change right now, and then repetitively use those three affirmations throughout the day. Anytime a negative thought comes up, you use the affirmations. Anytime you have doubt, you use the affirmations. You wake up, you use the affirmations. Before you go to sleep, you use the affirmations. The beauty of waking up and going to sleep with affirmations is that our brain is in a different state in those moments where we've just woken up and when we're just going to sleep. And we're much more receptive to changing our subconscious brain in those times. So if you can take your affirmations and repeat them or write them down repetitively, um, but when you wake up and before you go to sleep, it's going to make such a big difference to shifting what you believe is possible. So affirmations are such a key way to do this. The second one is catching your thoughts. So you can only use an affirmation if you catch the thought. Now, when you first start doing this, you might stay in the thought for minutes before you actually catch it. Once you've been doing this for a while, you'll catch it so much quicker and you'll get to the point where you're literally, you'll think about an action you need to take, a negative thought will land and you'll instantly combat it and say, I don't believe that anymore. This is the new belief. And the sooner that you can catch your thoughts and shift them, the sooner that you can bring awareness and shift, the quicker you're going to get results. Because all the while that you let that negative thought circle around and that negative belief circle around in your system, it, the longer it takes because it's more embedded. So if you can catch that thought, have a moment, think to yourself, okay, that thought is trying to protect my nervous system. It's trying to keep me safe. And I can recognize it and say, great, but I know that something better is available to me. I know that I have access to something more. So in that moment, I can catch the thought and release it. And this is something that's really important as you go through this process of changing a belief. If we can catch the thought and actually change the thought through an affirmation, we're going to be able to shift our reality much faster. So the third thing on the list is journaling. I absolutely love journaling. I absolutely swear by it. I recommend it to all of my clients because 
it gives you a space to process the thoughts and feelings that you're having. And the only way that you can unlock the next level of, you know, human being that you are, the only way that you can unlock the next level of thought, belief, you know, income, business goal, personal goal, whatever it is, is to assess the person that you are right now. It is to access who you are, what that looks like, and make sure that you are fully aware of what it is that makes you tick. So by going through and journaling, you can journal how you feel, you can process through your thoughts and feelings, because shifting a negative belief or a limiting belief is not about just being like oh yeah that belief is negative it doesn't exist it's i'm not interested in it it's about actually getting to the core of why do i believe this what is it that i feel is true within this belief right now and how can i give myself evidence that it is not true and i find journaling to be the best possible way to do this so what evidence can I look at from myself or others to show me that this is possible for me, to show me that I am able to achieve this? And the more that you journal and the more that you access the space of reflection, the quicker your results are going to come around. Because you're sitting there with access to so many beautiful reflective thoughts but for most of us, we just move past them, push through them, like ignore them, just carry on with life, carry on doing. Whereas actually sitting in that reflection can just compound and just like compact the amount of time that it's going to take for us to get the results. So grab your journal, write down your limiting belief and then start to just dissect it. Why do you think that? Why do you feel that way? Who is it that made you believe this thing was true? What evidence are you attributing to this thing being true? What counter evidence do you have to say that it's not true? How do you go through this whole process? Because I can promise you now there is something so magical in exactly that. Okay, finally, finally, finally is meditations. If you've been on my YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that I love a meditation. I put out one meditation a month for my audience and they are always the most watched videos that I put out. And that makes me so happy. Because meditation, especially guided meditation from somebody else, can be such an energetic upgrade because you are tapping into somebody else's belief and somebody else's level of energy around a particular thing. So you find a meditation that is focused on something you are trying to shift, whether it is um, limitless, whether it is you know reducing overwhelm, whatever it is that you're focusing on. And what you then do is you listen to that meditation peak state first thing in the morning when you wake up just before you go to bed or any time during the day where you need to feel supported and you can use the affirmations in a meditation from somebody else to actually raise your vibration and raise your energy to that level when you have somebody else's voice constantly telling you that something is possible constantly telling you that you are capable constantly telling you that you know you are worthy it's even more like compacting and compounding than just your voice alone so a belief is formed from our thoughts and other people's narratives why not form a new belief from our own thoughts, so your own work on affirmations, journaling, etc., but also that external voice through a meditation of somebody who is inspiring to you. Now, there are so many places that you can find meditations. You can look for them on YouTube, you can find them on my channel, you can download apps that have got loads of meditations in them, you can record your own meditations if that is what you need. But it's such a powerful way to start to shift what is possible for you. And realistically, the biggest thing through all four of these, and you will have heard me say the word a million times already, is repetition. 
a belief has been formed over years, if not decades. So you need to go hard on the repetition. You can't just say your new affirmation once and expect it to change everything. You can't just listen to a meditation once and expect everything to shift and everything to move. You can't write in your journal once or catch a thought once and then suddenly pretend like it's never going to exist again. You have to go back to the basics of saying, I am going to give myself time and repetition to form this new belief, to form this new habit, to show up in this new way. And that is where the power lies. All of the power is in the repetition. The more that you can do this, the more that you can have your affirmations visible to you, say them to yourself multiple times a day, listen to meditations that support you, catch your thoughts, journal on them. Like the more that you can do this as a combined effort, the more likely you are to shift these limiting beliefs as quickly as possible. So I'm so excited for you to go away and give this a try. Let me know in the comments which one of these um, four processes you are going to try first. What are you feeling called to jump into? It'll be so incredible. And as always, if you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can get our updates every single week. Our next video coming out is a meditation and it is all about overwhelm and doing a quick five minute reset when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious. So be sure to subscribe so that you get access to that video next week.